thing. So, us as a nation of people, we went through what's called the transatlantic slave trade and the sub-Saharan slave trade. So, and there was a reason because out of all the nations that was on the coast of Africa, how did we get picked? The so-called white man had to cross from over there on, in Europe to come all the way over here to pick us up on the west coast of Africa. You, he done passed thousands of uh, different nations and dialects. And he can't even got us. Why? Now, James, now, it, it seems to be this is my first time meeting you. What's going on, bro? My name is your name. This is my first time meeting you, bro. So, I want to give you a little bit of uh, encouragement because a lot of times, sometimes our people have no hope. We don't know where to go. You know what I'm saying? We don't know where to turn to. Read what you got. That's the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Set not thy heart upon thy goods uh -huh. and say not. I have enough for my life. So check this out. You yeah. said you working for beer. You worth more than a bottle of beer. You worth more than the food that you eat. You worth more than anything that you can ever imagine. You drop that in verse five. Verse five. Uh -huh. Concerning propitiation. That's talking about repentance. Concerning repentance. Come on. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not. His mercy is great. Uh -huh. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Read. For mercy and wrath have come from him, and his indignation rested upon sinners. So check this out. When you hear in this word, whether you in a drunken state or not, the Lord is giving you a form of cognizance to be able to understand that it's time for you to repent. It's time for you to repent. Put down, put down the drinking. If you if you get drunk, if you drinking all day every day, it's time to put it down, bro. It's time to put it down, and that's okay. Cause some of our people, we don't know where to go. That's why we here. Give me that in Hebrews three thirteen. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter three verse thirteen. That's why we here. Because if one of us is dealing with anything, we can go to one another and we can talk it out. And we can show each other how to apply the scripture. Read what you got. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 3 and verse 13. Uh -huh. But exhort one another daily. You hear that? We do that over here, James. We exhort one another daily. So if you really need help, if it's a real struggle for you, come amongst us. We can help you out. Read what you got. But exhort one another daily. Uh -huh. Well, it is called today. Why it is called today? You want to know why it says why it's called today? Because tomorrow morning, you very well might lose your life. Right. Yeah. One of us might lose our life. Read what you got. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And also, guess what? Today, all of us might be the most righteous brother we can ever uh, see amongst ourselves. But the next day, one of us might go deep off into some sin, lead a body, and blaspheme the Holy Ghost. That stuff can happen. Right. But we got to exhort one another. Read what you got. But exhort one another daily uh -huh. while it is called today. Read. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness mm. of sin. Hebrews 10, 25. So it's important for you to come amongst people, James. To come amongst people. Because we have people that dealt with uh, being drunkards. We have people that deal with that. We have people that deal with all better issues and troubles throughout their whole lives, but we got this Bible to guide us. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 25. Uh -huh. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Because we are the children of Israel and the whole world hate us. Those people that own that gas station over there, they hate us. The people that own Walmart, they hate us. People that own Kroger, they hate us. The people that own the textile, for the clothes that you wear, they hate you. 
So we have to gather together. We can't forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Read. As the matter of some is. Because some of our people is. Some people will hear this word and will continue driving on, selling whatever drugs they're selling, smoking whatever weed they want to smoke, driving down the road, getting drunk. They want to do all better of evil and wickedness, but guess what? We got to adhere to what the word of God say. Read. But exhorting one another, uh, and so read. much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Yeah, because you want to know the day that's approaching? Isaiah 66 and verse 15. The day that's approaching is Christ's second coming. That's the Lord God. will return, whether people yes, like it or not, is. whether people believe in it or not. He's going to come back. And when he's coming, when he come back, it's gonna be death Fire. and destruction. Read what you got. But we gotta make sure we on the right side of the fence when he come back so he so he can protect us from that destruction. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. Uh -huh. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. It's the day that see? he returns. It's the day that he come back, read. And with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury uh -huh. and his rebuke with flames of fire. Uh -huh. For uh -huh. by fire and by his uh -huh. sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Uh -huh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Give me that Revelation 22, 14. So the only way we can avoid being that slain is to sit up there and not uh, get drunk. You don't want to get you don't want to get in that fire. You gotta stop drinking. You gotta stop getting drunk. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Hey, what's going on, big bro? Hey, what's going on, man? What's uh, your name? Uh, TC. TC. Ah. TC. What's going on, bro? You got a question? Uh, yeah, well, my question was, uh, why did we go into slavery? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. <laughs> go, go straight to it. So, what's your name again? You said TC? Yeah. Yep. All praises, all praises. So, us as a nation of people, we went through what's called the transatlantic slave trade and the sub Saharan slave trade. So, and there was a reason because out of all the nations that was on the coast of Africa, how did we get picked? The so-called white man had to cross from over there in Europe to come all the way over yonder to pick us up on the west coast of Africa. You, he done passed thousands of uh, different nations and dialects. And he came and got us. Why? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now this is Moses, he's talking to the Israelites. You familiar with the uh, Israelites after they were released from Egypt? So he's speaking to the Israelites. He said that you do not keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let me ask you something, bro. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing, right? So he said that the Israelites were gonna be cursed. Evil things are gonna happen to them if they don't keep God's commandments. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now in slavery, what our sons and daughters passed off to another people? What that mean is, me and you, we brothers. You have a son, I have a son. You have a daughter, I have a daughter. And they get stolen from you and they're sold to another race of people. That's right. That's what happened to us, right? Our sons were sold. Our daughters were sold to another race of people, read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them 
all the day long. Did the, when that happened, did the parents cry? Did we cry for our children? Our children being sold, being stolen, being taken from us. Read what you got. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Now when our children got sold and auctioned off, did we have any power to get them back? Animal. Even today, right? You got kids? Yeah. If, if somebody in your neighborhood call them folks on you, and they got a case on you, they can, they, can, they got full authority to come up in the, on an allegation to take your kids up and it's gonna be months before you even see your child again. It's crazy. You ain't gonna see your child again. Your child done went through the foster care system, done went through three, four different homes, possibly got molested by somebody, went through all bad of unnecessary things off an allegation. That stuff can happen today. Jump up to verse 16. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Now, in all the cities that uh, were black people, our people reside. Ain't this evil in those cities? Everywhere we go, we got hell. In Memphis, I live in Memphis. In Memphis, Tennessee, we done exceeded the homicide rate overall, over all the nation. It exceeded, that means from from January 1st up until today, yeah, over a year's worth of people that died. What I mean by that is over 365 people lost their life. Homicide. Yeah, and the year's not even over with yet. That's, that's evil. All right, bro. Understand something, bro. You were Israelite. You were Israelite. And we went into slavery because we broke God's commandments. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 